everybody, I am Anfit and today I am going to do rapid fire book tag. I want to do this book tag so that you can know more about me as a reader and whether I am worth following or not. And this is also in line with the lot of book reviews I plan because that way you would know what kind of reader I am and whether my book reviews would uh, be appealing to you or not. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. The concept is that I have some questions in my phone. I haven't read those questions. I just copied and pasted them on the mail and now I'm going to read those questions, answer them right there. It's like a rapid fire round in coffee with current. But by the way, do you guys watch that show? I really love it. Number one, ebook or physical book? Obviously, physical books. I have read a couple of ebooks and I just feel that they finish too quickly because of which, you know, I am like, okay, I read it. I'm done with the book. Now I don't know about it. So I prefer physical books. The smell, the touch, the feel, everything is perfect. Number two question is paperback or hardback? Paperback if I am buying it myself. Hardback if someone is gifting it to me because hardbacks are really really costly whereas paperbacks are cheap. Number three online or in-store book shopping. To be honest I prefer in-store book shopping. Ever since I moved to Delhi I love going to Oxford or Crossword. Crossword I don't like because the one I went to the owner was so bad she was just like cribbing about the customers. It was a turn off anyways yeah so i go to the bookshops and you know i just see all the books around me it feels so good and it helps me choose better so if i want to explore and if i want to discover new books i would definitely go to a bookstore but if i know which book i want to buy and if i want it cheap i'll buy it online number four question is trilogies or series i would say series but they should be like harry potter series or something like that next question is heroes or villains i like the heroes which have bad characters like i like twisted characters because i believe no one can be good i like to see the bad and good side of the characters so i like the heroes with the bad and good side or the villains with the bad and good side next question a book you want everyone to read like i don't need to answer this question it's brida by polo polo i want everyone to read it with the right mindset and truly understand the concept of the book and I bet on it no one can not like that book if you read it that way. Next is recommend an underrated book. I would say Brida because Brida is so much underrated as compared to the alchemist and I feel alchemist is shit and Brida is perfect. Next question the last book you finished Aiden's Toys by Sam Felix. I have reviewed it link down below. The last book you bought. I don't really remember which is the last book I bought because it has been so long since I bought a last book. I seriously don't remember. I haven't bought a book since a long long time and I'm happy about it. The next question weirdest thing you have used as a bookmark. I just used it yesterday and that was a bobby pin. I hope there is not <laughs> lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, the next thing is used book, yes or no. I do not have anything against used books, but I like it when the paperback copy is good enough to read. The font and everything, so that is not really related to used books. So yeah, any book, I don't mind. Next is top three favorite genres. I like romance, good romance, not the Indian romance sort of thing. I like um, uh, fantasy a lot and... Um, I like non-fiction a lot, like all those self-help books. Next question is borrow or buy. I always buy my books and I, I always try to not lend my books to anyone. But there are some people who get them. You know, they are like just too friendly and I give them and I always regret that. So I always buy my own books. I not I do not borrow books and I do not even, you know, lend my books. Next is characters or plot. Characters, because I feel the plot can be totally stupid. The plot can be like totally hollow, but if the characters are strong, the book is going to be a great experience. Next question is longer short books. It's a midway thing. I do not like really short books. I also have a problem with reading short stories and most of the times I don't like them. But if the short book is, you know, ha is complete enough, I would like it. But otherwise I would go for long books. Next is longer short chapters. I like long chapters. I think short chapters are too short. Next question. Name the first three books you think of. The Book Thief because I'm reading it right now. Uh, there's a book about marketing which I have been uh, planning to read since a long time and I have been reading it on and off. So that one. And uh, it's called The Marketing Gurus I think. 
and a house of night novel series because i so wanted to read that whole series but it's so crap that i don't want to read it and i have the fourth book and i'm just getting bugs that i can read it but uh, it would be a bad experience so it's haunting me all the time since like over a year mm books that make you laugh or cry the book that made me cry a lot was the choice by nicholas sparks that's why i love romance genre and i cannot speak properly but yeah i cried so much after reading that book and the books that make me laugh i do not really have read that many funny books so i cannot really say our world or fictional worlds Next question: Our world or fictional world? I definitely like fictional worlds, and one of the reasons why I like reading books is they give you an escape from your real world, which is pretty shitty. So yeah, fictional worlds. Next question: Audio books? Yes or no? No, because I cannot really concentrate much on audio books. I have tried that, and you know, after a while, I was like, I don't know what I was doing, but the book was going on, and I didn't get anything. So yeah, mm. no audio books. Next question: Do you ever judge a book by its cover? I do. Like literally, I'm speaking, and from there the voice is coming. So the question was: Do you judge the book by its cover? I do not, but I let the book pull me towards it, and I do not mind that. For example, the cover of the Curse of Surya by Dev Prasad. It was like it was lying on my table, and I was just getting pulled towards it. So that. I give into it, but otherwise I do not judge a book by its cover. Next question is book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Nothing, not not at all. Because I have seen so many book to movie adaptations, so many book to TV adaptations, and they are shit. But if they're written in a you know storytelling style like Harry Potter, then I can like it. But otherwise, you know, The Hunger Games, Twilight, Divergent, all of these are shit, shit, shit. Do not watch those movies. and tv adaptations i think i haven't read the books of the tv adaptations i have watched but i am pretty sure they are going to be crap yeah i am like behaving like a very bad person today and i'm sure if my friends would see this they would be like do you like tv crap <laughs> next question is a movie or tv show you prefer to its book and the <laughs> start nothing 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 because books are always better and i have you know it's so distracting i don't know if you can hear it but it's like oh he never does that but he's doing that now and i'm kicking him i'm a bad parent <laughs> okay let's get back to the question it's the second last question no movie or tv show i prefer to books because books are always better and the next question is and the last question it is series or stand alones I would prefer series if they are good enough but otherwise I have always found stand alone is better so that's that so yes that's it this is my rapid fire book tag where I told you a lot about my book preferences my reading related preferences and I hope you don't decide to unsubscribe me after watching this and I do hope that you enjoyed it and the songs which you could hear were like good what was that entertainment Ooh. anyways if you like this video do hit thumbs up and make sure you share this video on twitter or instagram or pinterest or facebook please do that for me i'll be very thankful to you this is my big signing off i'll be back with another video very soon i finished filming the video and he is now fine by the way if you guys like to watch my experiences with a stupid dog i have go to my vlog channel bye